friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today we're going to talk about a new to me brand, this is Palette Polish. And if you saw my indie boutique Black Friday haul then you'll know that I picked up polishes from a couple brands that were new to me and one of them was Palette Polish. The way that I bought these polishes was actually a grab bag, so I paid 30 bucks, they sent me four polishes, I didn't get to pick. And these are the four that I got. So today I'm gonna live swatch these polishes for you and then at the end of the video I will talk a little bit about my thoughts on this brand, whether I'll be going back to get some more, etc. So this is kind of my first impressions of this brand and I'm really excited to show you them. So before we dive into the swatches, I just want to tell you a little bit about this brand. They're based in Portland, Oregon. They are vegan and cruelty free and they're also five free. And they're a small batch indie company and so I'm really excited to start bringing some more indies into my collection, especially indies that are small batch that are run by you know one or two people that makes me feel really good to be supporting companies like that okay so let's dive in and talk about these four polishes the first polish that I'm swatching from palette polish today is this beautiful super bright pink this polish is called sugar cookie the brush on these polishes is really long and kind of thin but I feel like the length makes it really easy to manipulate and get it to kind of go in the direction that you want it to. So it's really easy to make this one be really precise. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with how much I like this brush. This first coat of Sugar Cookie is going on pretty evenly. It will need a second coat, but this color is super bright, super opaque, and the brush, oh my gosh, you guys, this brush is just so easy to use. Coming in for a second coat of Sugar Cookie, I would say this is a neon pink. It is really, really bright. So this is not just a hot pink, this is neon. And the second coat is getting it totally opaque. This formula is absolutely stunning. And the brush, again, is just so easy to use. I can't, I'm really surprised. When I first opened these polishes, I was like, oh no, it's a long, thin brush. But it's actually super easy to manipulate and really fun to use. All right, so this neon eye searing pink is two coats of sugar cookie. Next up from Palette Polish is this really beautiful, cool toned purple. This is grape. This first coat of grape is going on pretty similar to Sugar Cookie. It is really even, but a little bit patchy, which is fine. It'll just need a second coat to get to opacity, but it is super even. This color is a little bit less neon than Sugar Cookie, but it is still a super bright purple. Um, this is a really fun one. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. It's almost like a barney purple. It's really bright. This one seems like it might at some point get opaque in one coat because it is pretty close for me right now. So this is one coat of grape. Second coat of grape is getting 100% opaque. It's really smooth, really, really pretty. Something I have noticed about these polishes is that they dry a little bit flat. So they just need top coat on them, which I think is totally fine. That doesn't bother me at all. And so this is two coats of grape. Up next is this super sparkly one. This is Gold Gumdrop, and this looks like a really dense glitter in a clear base. This glitter is yellow gold and looks uh, uniform, so there's just one kind of glitter in here. There's not a mix, um, but it is really densely packed in this base, at least in the bottle. This first coat is a little bit runnier than the creams, but nothing that's too hard to work with. The glitter distribution is super even, which is really nice. I feel like you don't need to do any manipulation to try and get it in the place you want it to. It's just going on totally even across the nail. This looks like you could use one coat of this polish as a topper over another polish because it's dense, but it's not so dense that you wouldn't be able to see the base coat. Okay, so that's one coat of gold gumdrop. The second coat is coming in pretty dense, so it's pretty close to opacity in two coats, which is surprising. Given that first coat, I thought it was gonna be a bit further from opacity, but you could either do it one coat as a topper or you could do a second coat and wear it to almost opacity. So I am not gonna do a third coat on this because I really can only see my nail line if I'm looking for it. This is pretty close to opacity. So this is two coats of gold gumdrop. All right, the last polish that I have from Palette Polish today is this super beautiful blue. This is aphrodisiac, and this one looks also like an almost neon blue. It's really bright. 
All right, and I tried to get all of those little gold glitters off from gold gum drops, so you're gonna have to excuse me if there's a couple shiny spots around my fingers, but I tried to get them all off. I'm gonna say this polish is a one coat polish. This first coat is super opaque, really even, and just absolutely a beautiful bright blue. I can see no reason to do a second coat of this polish. It looks really perfect. And again, this brush is just so easy to use. I think this is easier for me to use on my nails than some of the super wide brushes because I'm not getting any flooding in my cuticles. So that's one coat of this super beautiful blue. I am gonna call this a one coat polish. So you are looking at one coat of aphrodisiac. All right, so those are the polishes that I got from Palette Polish. I hope that you enjoyed seeing them swatched. My favorite was definitely Aphrodisiac. I can see myself wearing this one a lot in the summertime. It's a really bright blue. It's really, really pretty. I just love blue. I, I would wear blue pretty much in any shade, any finish, any time of the year. So I'm really excited to have Aphrodisiac in my collection. And as far as my thoughts on this brand, honestly, I was really impressed. Um, this brush is maybe, maybe, my favorite brush I've ever used. It is so easy to move around my nails. I do have kind of narrow, uh, like longer nail plates. And so, you know, my nails aren't long in terms of like how far they come above my fingertip, but the amount of space that my nail bed takes up on my finger is long, if that makes sense. Um, and they're a little bit narrow. So I really like this brush that is a little bit thinner, but it splays out really well and makes it so you can get a really clean edge all the way up your cuticle and around your kind of half moon at the bottom. So I was really impressed with these polishes. They do dry a little bit, not matte necessarily, but they don't dry as glossy as the other brands that I tend to use, like Kale Polish or Lee Zoya. They're not as glossy as those guys are. That fact is not gonna stop me from buying other polishes from this brand for a couple of reasons. Number one, I almost always wear a top coat with my manicure because I want it to last and look really good all day long. And number two, these are kind of neon polishes and they tend to have a little bit more matte finish. And so I am curious to try out some of their other colors that aren't as bright, that aren't as neon and see if maybe the finish is a little bit different on some other shades. So I'm not ready to totally say that all of their polishes have this finish. It could be a little bit different on some other shades. Awesome, I would love to hear from you. Have you heard of this brand? Have you tried them before? Do you own any of them? I would love to hear what your thoughts are after seeing this live swatch and review. And as always, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to hang out with me and talk about nail polish. I really appreciate it. And I love getting to hear from you. So definitely let me know down below what your thoughts are on this brand. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next time I sit down to talk about nail polish. Awesome, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.